Howdy friends, this is Lance. I want to talk quickly about using takeout.google.com. And I get the question a lot from teachers as well as seniors moving on. What should I do with the contents that I want to keep from Google? So here's the deal. What's best is that you select what it is you really, really want. You don't want to move your entire Google Drive over to a personal account. It might be too much data, and not only that, but there might be data in there that you don't want to take with you. So what I recommend is organizing your Google Drive first, getting the items you want into a folder or a few folders, or if they're already in folders, you're good to go. But don't transfer your entire drive. Not a good idea. Then you'll go to takeout.google.com, and you'll then decide what it is that you want to transfer. So I'm just going to work on Google Drive contents. As you can see, there's all kinds of different stuff that you could transfer, but I'm just going to focus on Google Drive. So I'll select Google Drive and I'm going to choose Advanced Settings. I do kind of want this information, so I'm going to go ahead and include that additional info. And I'm going to not have all my folders. I only want specific ones. I'm going to actually hit deselect all. And I only want, let's say, I just want this folder right here. Okay. I'll hit OK. One folder selected. Scroll down to the bottom. And as you can see, there's all kinds of different things that you can transfer. Next step, I need to choose what I want to export. And so I'm going to keep it as a zip file. I'm going to increase the amount on this. I'm going to set it to 10 gigabytes here. You can do it in multiple, or you can do this in two gigabytes, but the problem is you'll just get several different downloads. So let's go ahead and hit create export. So then what will happen is eventually I will get an email letting me know, hey, you have an export and you can download this information. We'll get to that in a little bit. All right, friends, this is part two and you'll get an email. It'll take a little while, depending on the size of your files. And then you'll be able to download your files. So then you'll click on download your files. It's going to take you to the page where you can download those files. And it'll automatically download the zip file. Now, the reason that I chose the 10 gigabyte is because I knew that I had less than 10 gigabytes of data in there. Something to keep in mind while this is downloading, and it is going to take a while, while this is downloading, I've noticed that this download is pretty slow. You got to keep in mind that these are more than likely going to be converted Google Docs files into Microsoft Word, as well as like Google Slides to PowerPoint. So keep that in mind as you download these that they are going to be converted to a Microsoft format. So I'll come back later and we'll continue this portion and then I'll tell you what to do with your files. So this is what you would do from a PC. Uh, you would open up your zip file, and then when you open up the zip file, you would find the folder that you want, and then you can drag it to where you want. So you could potentially drag it to your downloads. You could potentially drag it to your desktop. If you have a zip drive or external drive that you want to plug it into, this would be a good option at this point, and you could drag it in there and keep those files accordingly. I'm also going to show you from the perspective of a Chromebook. So from a Chromebook, when you open it, you can put it in your downloads folder, but there might be a little bit of an issue. That issue might be because with the Chromebook, you might not have enough actual storage on the device to hold all of those contents because again, they store all as Microsoft Office files, so they actually do take up space. So what you'll need to do is maybe have a zip drive of some sort to store them temporarily when you drag them into another storage container. And then I'll tell you what to do with them from there. So for this last part, it's to access a personal account. Now you could just save it on a flash drive like I did on the Chromebook. But if you're wanting them to go to Google Drive, here's what you need to do. So on a personal Google Drive account, you need to first be able to get there. So to get there, I'm going to go to the new incognito window and sign into a personal Google account. And to get into that, I'll just visit Google Drive and go to Drive and put in my information. Okay, in Google Drive then, when I am ready to upload my file, because these are Microsoft files, they will take up space in your Google Drive and you're limited on how much you can use for free. However, if they are in Google format, they are not 
taking up space in your Google Drive. So to fix that, when I do this upload, I need to make sure I click on the gear in my personal account, click on settings, and go over here where it says convert uploads and make sure that this is checked. By having this checked, then what will happen is it will convert all the Word files to Google Docs and all the PowerPoints to Google Slides and not take up space in my Google Drive. So let's do that now. New folder upload. And since on this PC, I pulled it from the desktop, I can pull that from the desktop. If you put it on a flash drive or an SD card, you would find that as it's plugged in and you can pick your folder and upload. And you'll be able to upload all of those items all in one shot. Now it will take some time. So you're going to want to make sure that you have plenty of hours in there for it to upload the items and convert them. After it's all said and done, they'll then be in your folder along with the folder structure that you have within that folder that you downloaded and all your files.